Hello everyone, this is Kuhu from the K Junction and this is a winter solace story that I am going to share with you with the story props that I have set up as part of my winter table, Waldorf inspired winter table. So if you haven't seen that video, I'm linking the video of the details of my winter table in the description box below. So make sure you check that out and get some ideas to set up your winter table. So let's start the story. I'm going to tell you the story in my own words and I'm linking up the exact story in the description so that you can read it yourself and mold it in the way your child will like. So the story goes like this. So in the winter season there was an oak tree in the forest and the land was covered with snow and under the ground, under the oak tree lived three fairies. You can name the fairies anything you want so they were talking to each other and since the winter solstice is the day uh, when the night is the longest so these fairies were talking that they overheard someone saying that the sun is going to die so apparently this oak tree told that the sun is going to die and they were very very sad that if the sun will die what will happen Bloom. when will we plants and flowers bloom so that's what they were talking and suddenly there came a gnome there came a gnome and he was very happy the fairies asked the gnome why are you happy so the gnome said there is a winter solstice party going on in the forest and the gnome invited the fairies to the party the fairies said that this is such a sad news we overheard oak tree saying that the sun is going to die and how come you can be so happy with this news how come you are celebrating winter solstice so the gnome asked do you know the secret behind the winter solstice so the fairy said no we do not know we are new here and we are so young we haven't attended any winter solstice party before so tell us what is the secret and what are you happy about we are very sad that the sun is dying so the gnome said see you there at the party and then there you will know what is the secret behind winter solstice so the gnome said this and quickly went away to the forest where the party was happening so these fairies thought that what could it be and they wondered so they decided to go to the party so while they were under the ground and they were supposed to go out in the snow they just wrapped themselves with some warm clothes and they came out of the ground and it was so cold they haven't seen or felt this kind of cold weather before and they wanted to go to the forest to attend the party so they went ahead and it was so so cold they were shivering so then a fox came he offered help to the fairies he said you look so young and i can help you and take you to the forest where the winter solstice party is happening so the fairies said okay so they hopped on to the fox and the fox took them to this party that was happening over here so the fairies came here and they saw that the gnome is standing right here and there were so many trees and people were singing beautiful songs the fairies had never heard this kind of beautiful music before in their life and there was some fire over here to keep things warm and as they went nearby they saw that a mother is holding a baby so this is a baby that I made from walnut shell and I have a tutorial about how to make this kind of uh, walnut baby and I'm going to link that on the description box below so they saw a baby with a huge huge bright light and they when they went nearby they saw that it's the baby's son and they were so delighted that they thought that the son had died and that's 
that's the story of winter solstice and the people over there told the fairies young little fairies that when the sun will grow up now it's a baby when the sun will grow up the season will change and the winter season will go off and then there will be warm um, environment everywhere so that's what signifies the change of season so after winter solstice the days start becoming longer and longer the winter solstice is the longest night and after that the days become gradually longer so that's a symbolic um, representation that the sun is a baby on winter solstice day and as he grows the days grow longer and the gnome told the fairies that this is a cycle of life uh, whenever someone dies it takes birth in some other form so this is again a beautiful message that we can give to our children that this is how symbolically yule and winter solstice is thought about in various cultures so the fairies were delighted and they said to the mother of sun that uh, they will take care they will teach the little baby sun all the things that he should and then the you know, the fairies will play with the sun and when the season will change uh, the flowers will blossom and it will be so much fun and again the end of the year next year again the sun will die and take birth as a baby sun so this is a cycle of life so i hope you like this beautiful story i personally loved it i'm sharing the exact story link in the description so you check out that link and retell the story according to your cultural background and how your child will understand that so after this winter solstice party the fairies came back to their home and they went inside the ground in under the oak tree and that's how the story concludes if you like the story uh, so do subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button to get the notifications of my future videos you can tap on the screen right now to see all the winter activities that we did and other playlists and setups and projects that we do and to see on a daily basis what we are doing hop on to my facebook instagram or twitter accounts the social connects are in the description box below Thanks for watching. See you there. Bye-bye and happy parenting.